You right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to the first semi-final matchup in the Silver Striker tournament. Today we're going to be seeing Mayuka going up against Malapa in what is sure to be a very interesting contest. But first, of course, we need to go and have a look at what happened in the final quarter-final matchup between Eddie Johnson and Ezekiel. I thought it might be a little bit closer than it was, but it was so one-sided. You guys clearly have a favourite and that is Eddie Johnson because he is going through with 400 168 thumbs up to 18 for Ezekiel. Only 18, that's pathetic. Anyway, he will be going up against Agbon Lahore in the second semi final matchup. But back to today's matchup, of course, it is Mayuka versus Malapa. And if you are looking to buy some ultimate team coins, go check out futcoinking.com. Their link will be down in the description. A fast, cheap, and reliable coin service. Use code CAP5 at checkout for a discount. So, our two players today Malapa is 72 rated, 84 pace, 67 shooting, 60 64 passing, 73 dribbling, 50 defending, and 71 heading. He's six foot three. He has medium medium work rates, three star skill, three star weak foot. He has no traits except that he's an absolute giant. Then Mayuka, he's 71 rated overall, 90 pace, 60 shooting, 51 passing, 74 dribbling, 45 defending, 64 heading. He's five foot ten, high low work rates, four star skills, four star weak foot, and he has the tries to be offside trap trait. Now let's dive in and start building the team around these two players. Now it's very difficult to do a sort of like a hybrid team with the likes of Mayuka in there because there aren't all that many, you know, players of his nationality. And, you know, League One is a good league to sort of like hybridize with, but he's just very, very difficult to get into any sort of like hybrid team. But we're going to do a nice split team. It's very strong, really good, definitely would recommend it. And I did beat an Ibrahimovic and Ronaldo team with this squad. So um, it is pretty strong and you can come up against some difficult opponents, but you can beat them, so it's cool. Anyway, let's dive in and start putting the players in. We'll quickly switch it to Silver, and at left mid, we are going to be using Gradle from League One. Absolute pace monster. Got four-star weak foot, that's why I chose him. Not because he's pacey, but because he's got good weak foot. I lie. It's because of the pace, but there you can see he goes into the team, and he is a very good left mid. Then at the centre mid position, we're going to be using Dubai again. Actually used a different FC so sure player um, that I thought was going to be better, because he had like 90 strength but he was too lanky and rubbish he just wasn't a very good player so in goes Dubai and he is a very strong player then at left back we're using a guy called Sis pretty quick and uh, pretty good at defending as well there for our left back centre back we're going with Zuma again because he's just so good he is a very very strong centre back and uh, he does the job you know whilst defending so it's definitely worth putting him in and then to get him onto full chemistry we're going to use Verkutre I think this is the third time out for Verkutre in the Silver Striker tournament really strong goalkeeper from League One. Now we can move on to the Bundesliga side of the pitch. At right mid we're going to be using Rojas. I believe he's got four star skills and four star weak foot. Yes indeed he has. He's got 90 pace. I mean what more could you want from your winger? Then at the centre mid position we're going to be using a Leitner. The reason I'm using Leitner is because I had extensive use of him during uh, deploying Dortmund in FIFA 13. Thought he was a fantastic player. Or he's actually at, um, what is it? Oh, I can't even remember. Stuttgart. Um, he's at Stuttgart now but He's still an absolute magical player and really, really strong. Okay, then at the centre-back position, we're going to be using Schwab. He goes in because he's got, you know, decent pace. He's tall, he's strong. He gets all of the checks on the check mark list for my defenders. And then at right back, we're going to be using Dikmir because he's ridiculously fast, even taller and even stronger. So there you go, guys. That's the team. What we're going to do now is dive into the stats and the goals for these two players. So these guys only scored seven goals between them in the five games, which isn't very good. But the team actually is quite good I've used it since recording this sort of like tournament thing and uh, you know it has played a lot better so I just wasn't playing very well on the day so it is your decision guys who you want to go through into the final so every vote counts go over to futhead.com there's a link down in the description to a squad down at the bottom of that squad there are two comments from me one that says vote for Malapa the other one says vote Mayuka all you have to do is thumb up the one you want to go through have a look at the stats on screen make up your mind have a look at the goals who who do you think deserves to go through to the next round? I think, I think they both play pretty poorly, to be honest, but that can't be helped. So I hope you've enjoyed the video anyway, guys. Hit the like button if you have enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.